Hello YouTube viewers, this is Brent and Dodger Dog coming to you from Williston, North Dakota, the sixth day, day of August, Tuesday of 2024, and this is Dodger Dog, with my mini Dotson. He sees a couple of dogs out there, but hey, I'm in Williston, and for those that are looking for jobs, uh, especially truck drivers, oil field workers, or people in general uh, I want to talk about trucking first and then I'll talk about other jobs and the housing situation uh, so uh, as far as trucking uh, frac sand hauling was real slow this year as far as I'm concerned that's my opinion and I was driving for 5f uh, through Halliburton for about six weeks back in April and May and uh, I just won't do it again I'm sorry and I see Liberty now Liberty's uh, doing uh, I'd say for the last three four weeks that I've seen Liberty boxes have been moving here in the Bakken oil fields of North Dakota and uh, so that being said and as far as the hopper bottoms on the reservation by Newtown, that's been going on, and down by Watford City. So, problem with Watford City, there's not much to do there. There's a lot of houses, condos, apartments, mobile homes, but there's just not much to do there. As far as I'm concerned, anyways, you gotta drive up north to Tobacco Gardens or to Newtown to go fishing, you know. Uh, I'm sure there's some creeks or ponds or something that some local people know about. But here in Williston, I don't even have to leave the city limits to go fishing on the Little Muddy River or, or uh, you know, on the Missouri River. I uh, don't have to go far either to go on uh, Lake Sakakawea. That's probably outside the city limits, but... Here in the Bakken, I've decided just to stay here in Williston. I've got an apartment now for, been there a year and a half or so. And uh, as far as trucking, uh, let's see, there's a lot of flat bedding going on, a lot of side dump, belly dumps going on, gravel, sand moving around, uh, crushed asphalt. I was working part-time for a company here in Williston, uh, Storbakken, but uh, I worked there just a few weeks, every week. I, every time I got in a truck, there was something wrong with it. So, uh, but uh, that was just part-time, and uh, I felt that like that wasn't my best option. Uh, they had just filled their uh, last, uh, position up anyway, so anyways, I'm looking to get on with water again. Water seems more steady, not here in Williston, but down uh, Watford City, water's busier, Newtown maybe, even though I've heard conflicting stories about Newtown, uh, it just depends who you're leased on with or working as a company driver you know but uh, let's see what else uh, drill cuttings drill cuttings I think have been good with Noble and with G style and uh, if you want to do that you know that pays pretty decent uh, but water, for me, water is the best thing. Uh, if I can get on with a company, I'm not going to say which one because I'm trying to get on there too. Now, if you want a city job, the city of Williston is hiring their forestry department, which is cutting diseased trees. Uh, their landfill department is hiring. And also their street department filling, you know, potholes and mowing the grass, that kind of thing. Uh, I was doing that, but man, that lawnmower sure hurt my back, and uh, all these young kids are vying for position. They're jockeying, trying to climb the ladder real fast, and uh, you know, I got yelled at by a 23, 25-year-old kid, man, and it's like, 
you know, I'm too old to put up with that crap, so I decided to move on. And, uh, you know, someone's trying to intimidate me at that age. Nah, they're not going to succeed, and I'm not going to put up with that. But there are jobs there in the city, sometimes the county, down in Watford City. What's it called? McKenzie County, I think it is. And there's Williams County here in Williston. They were hiring. Now, the state, state of North Dakota, I saw a sign. They pay like 53, 54,000 a year with full benefits, uh, like snow plowing, mowing grass, and, uh, you know, along the highways and stuff. So if you're looking for a steady job and work, it's not a bad place to live here. There are a few more homeless people here. Uh, I think something's wrong with them because, you know, if they're pushing a cart with their stuff in it, I, uh, you're talking to themselves, they're not right in the head, and I, you know, I feel sorry for them. And uh, we just, people just try to help them by donating money or whatever to help those poor people. Didn't used to be that way here and, uh, before COVID hit. You'd see maybe one or two people that are just, you know, going by, but now there's people that stay here during the summer and part of the winter. But it gets too freaking cold here. You get, uh, you know, below zero degree weather and it's it's hard, you know. The first snow should come in October. That's when it starts to get cold and it used to be that about a third of the people would migrate south to the southern states. But not anymore because now there's a lot of apartments here. So you've got condos, apartments, uh, trailer parks that are not even full to capacity but uh you know if you're looking for a trucking job they still have them here um if you're an owner operator good luck i think it's hard with a truck these guys that are hauling frac sand i don't know how they make it the loads just don't seem to pay that well um if you can do drill cuttings or water i think that's better paying but it's hard right now, it's been slow. This year it's been real slow as far as, you know, frac sand and water. <laughs> I've tried all year to get on with water. It's been real hard. It's not really what you know, it's who you know. And um, as far as jobs at Walmart, Walmart is paying like 16 bucks an hour now. They got a new manager, a new lady manager. The other manager that was here from five to seven years, he left. And the wages are down. They got new people. And uh, I was going to get on with them. And the guy didn't even show up for the appointment. I texted him, called him that evening when I met at 5, 5 p.m. at Walmart. Didn't return my text. The next morning, I called and texted him. Nothing. Till the following Friday, some other person called me. I said, nah, you know, if Walmart's going to be wishy-washy like that, I don't want to work for them. So they got people there that don't even speak English. So if that tells you anything. Um, there's signs, you know, like one company that's hiring is Mongoose in Newtown. That's for water. Uh, J&J &J Rentals, I think. You can probably get on with them. Um... Braun out of Tioga, maybe, but it's, you can put an application online with them. Uh, those are just some of the companies. Noble Trucking, Williston, good luck with them. They're a company you get on and stay with for two or three months, and then you jump off to, when you find something better. That's the kind of company Noble is. I don't recommend Noble. I, got, I know people that have worked there and have quit. People that are still working there and want to quit. <laughs> so, um, there is work here. Let's see, where else? Uh, trying to think. Good place to look is on Craigslist. Be careful, though. Um, I know Halliburton is hiring. Probably Liberty's hiring. Weatherford. Those are some of the bigger companies. Probably Stallion is hiring. You know, um... Calfrac, and uh, you just gotta look, you know, go to the North Dakota website 
and get online and, and put your application, create a resume and, and you know, get a North Dakota phone number and get a North Dakota address. Shows that you're here. And that'll help you uh, get a job faster, usually. And uh, it's not a bad place. It's great for fishing, great for camping, great for horseback riding, uh, motorcycle riding here. There's places to hike, places to see. There's not many trees here, so first part of the year it was real windy. You get a lot of thunderstorms in the summer, but that cools things off. Uh, got up to 108 a couple days, a couple of weeks ago, but that's all over and done. Now the temperatures are going down, down. It's in the 80s right now, 70s and 80s. And, uh, like I said, it's not a bad place. They got a area recreation center here that cost $76 million to build. It's probably six, seven years old now. And um, a lot of fun activities for your kids or adults too. You know, play basketball, go swimming, play tennis, uh, weightlifting, that kind of stuff in there. Um, they got outdoor tennis courts here. They got a baseball park for the kids for high school they're redoing the, the Cal, uh, Williston State College uh, baseball field and uh, they got a two-year college here used to be I don't know if it still is that if a, the kids graduated from high school you'd get to go to Williston State College for free I don't know if it's still like that or not but uh, housing I got a uh, two-bedroom apartment last year at Windscape, right below my Grandma Sharon's behind Come and Go, uh, right off the highway, and uh, 701 a month for two-bedroom, and then they raised it. Uh, last November, my nine-month lease was up, and they raised it $70, so I'm paying like 780 with water, sewage, garbage. I still have to pay electricity and my phone. I don't have a TV, so, you know, I watch movies, use my Wi-Fi on my phone. Uh, but they got nice apartments here that are, you know, one bedroom for, uh, what are they? Seven, eight, eight hundred and fifty dollars. And everything's included. And they got some two bedrooms that are about a thousand dollars or so, at nine hundred, a thousand, eleven hundred for two bedroom with everything included. So it's not a bad place to live, you know. There's a lot of jobs. You keep, you know, stay at a job till you find something better and move up. Oil field or just here in the city of Williston. So this is a long video I'm making, but I wanted to go over the jobs and uh trucking trucking uh, for some guys it's hit and miss depending what you're looking for but if you're a company driver you know you should have no trouble getting a job for company driver and trucking and uh, owner operators good luck you know I'd go to Dickinson Killdeer for water and sand for uh, water down in Watford City and Newtown those would be the areas to go. So, anyways, uh, I'm having a good summer. I'm going fishing tonight, Lake Sakakawea. Hopefully catch some walleye and maybe a couple pike. And I'll have it made and some white bass. That would be a plus. So, uh, anyways, folks, uh, if you have any questions, just ask me. I'll try to get back to you ASAP. And uh, say hi to Dodger. Dodger just got his toenails done. <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, you know, look me up, folks. Uh, my Facebook friends. And, uh, see, I'm trying to think. There's a, there's a newspaper in town you can pick up at Cashwise, probably Albertsons. Uh, it's called, uh, Oh, I can't remember. It's blank on my mind. It's just a little newspaper they create every Thursday or Friday. 
and put it at the entryway of Cashwise. And it's got jobs in there too, so. Uh, but uh, it's not a bad place for families to live, you know. And uh, if you're looking for a job, I wish you the best. And uh, I'd say North Dakota, especially Lebakken, Williston, it's got to be one of the best paying states, cities, small cities in the nation. Uh, I've been here since 2013 when the boom was going on. And uh, I still come back here. I leave in the winter. I come back. Of course, COVID chased me out. I bought a lease, purchased a, a truck, went over the road with a reefer, sold the truck February of 2023, and went into water. I had some, a little bit of experience, which helped, and now I'm trying to get back into water again, so uh, hauling production water, that is, doing flow back, service work, that kind of thing. So, folks, you have any questions? Feel free to ask. I wish you the best. If you need a job, come to Williston. Leave the drugs, leave the drinking, the partying, where you're at. If you're serious about work, this is where you come, okay? Good luck.